Good morning. Morning, Titus. Morning, Priscilla. Morning, Allie. Allie, thanks for helping us light the candle. Well, we're going to try to get synced up a little bit together, all right? And we'll see. We have quite a few different age groups here, so <laughs> well, I'm sure Titus is good at this song, all right? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? And can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Well, so good to have you guys with us uh, this morning. And during Advent, yeah, I love how everyone, you know, we were kind of seeing, but I noticed everyone loves looking at the Advent wreath. And I think there's something about lighting those candles and waiting and knowing we're going to wait a whole nother week until we light another one of the candles. But each candle has a special meaning for us and I think will help us grow closer to Jesus if we understand what each of these candles are. So, um, and you you can't see maybe from where you're sitting, but we have four candles and one special one in the middle. So over these weeks, we're going to remind ourselves of what these are and figure out what is a good way to remember all of the four candles before the fifth one. So we're going to be using a system that I learned by using all of our fingers. That's why I did this one, because this one is week two. But I'm wondering if anyone, any of the kids can remember what last week was. We used one. Hope, that's right. Do you remember my sentence to remember it? Jesus is the... Jesus is the... (laughs) Jesus is the one we hope for. Okay, so that's one way we remember the first candle. Jesus is the one we hope for. And then this week is two, and this is kind of a universal symbol for peace. I mean, people take photos with it too, but it also (laughs) means peace. And what does peace have to do with as we think about Advent? Well, unfortunately, our world has, once you have two people, there's going to be disagreement, sometimes conflict. In our world with billions of people, unfortunately, there's often big conflicts, even war and fighting and arguing. And so our world can lack a lot of peace. But you know what? Even if the world only had one person, somehow we can even sometimes be not at peace with ourselves And we can feel quite unhappy about things. We can't sleep over things. And so our world really, really needs peace. And Advent, one of the things we remember is that Jesus comes to bring us, in the second candle, remember, peace. So much does Jesus bring us peace that one of his Jesus' names used in the Bible is Prince of Peace, that he is someone who's going to bring peace, shalom, wholeness to our world. And so as we light the second candle, we are remembering and waiting for more peace in our world, knowing that Jesus will bring it. And I hope, uh, kids, as you guys help us light the candles, I think, Titus, you might be helping us next week uh, light the candles, and that we remember that first the first candle, can you guys remember now? Jesus is the one we hope for, and then Jesus brings us peace, okay? Jesus is the one we hope for, and Jesus brings us peace. So let's pray together as we remember and wait uh, for Jesus' peace. So here's the two. Okay. Oh, I have the old prayer on there. Okay, I don't have the slide. Well, let's, I'm going to lead us in prayer. Uh, Dear God, uh, Jesus, thank you that you are the Prince of Peace. And Lord, our world has fighting and conflict, and we ask for more of your peace to come as we wait for you. Uh, Please bless our children to have more hope in you and to find peace in you also. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks, kids. And now we'll have our scripture readings.